Good afternoon from Japan, from Shukutuku University. Please welcome to the second webinar uh, part of the webinar series on the research uh, project uh, on exploring Buddhist social work. Uh, today, I'm very happy to, to invite our colleagues from Mongolia uh, who will deliver their presentations uh, on growth of the Buddhist social work activities in Mongolia. Uh, this international uh, research uh, joint uh, project uh, have started more than five years ago and uh, during this, this period uh, our colleagues from Vietnam, Mongolia, Thailand, uh, Laos and other Asian countries and regions uh, made a huge nice work and we have a lot of book and a lot of uh, results to share. So this, this webinar series is a part of it and uh, I look forward to hearing uh, more uh, about uh, Buddhist social work in Mongolia today. Uh, today we have two presenters. Uh, after each presentation, uh, I would like to secure a few minutes uh, for sharing. Uh, so please uh, uh, feel free to share your questions and comments uh, after each presentation. If you have any technical problems, please let us know. Uh, you can use the chat box uh, to send a message so we can see and try to uh, uh, fix it. So uh, that's all for me, and I, I don't want uh, to waste our precious time and would like to uh, invite our first presenter, uh, who is uh, Professor Demberl from uh, National University of Mongolia. So please go ahead with your presentation. Hello, everyone. Hello. OK. Thank you for organizing the webinar about the Buddhist social work in Mongolia book series, the project series. Now I would like to introduce the Buddhism in Mongolia. The actually Buddhism they spread uh, in Mongolia three times. The first one is uh, Buddhism spread the second century of the uh, before common area as uh, second time uh, Buddhism spread the uh, 13th century uh, century in Mongolia. Uh, two times uh, Buddhism spread in uh, 16th century in Mongolia. Uh, uh, before 1990, the, during the communist period, religion restricted, marginalized, and controlled the very strict. Before 1990, only one the Buddhist monastery the functioned in our the country. The, the, the functionality of the Buddhism is very strict and uh, controlled by authorities. But after 1990, uh, Mongolians got the spiritual freedom, the freedom of the conscience. Uh, lots of the uh, Buddhist monasteries reopened in the country. Uh, in our uh, during the our project, uh, the statistics of the uh, Mongolian spirituality is like uh, eighty six point three percent of the uh, Buddhists in our country, and about uh, hundred thirty nine Buddhist monasteries functioning in. Uh, city and uh, 21 uh, provinces in Mongolia. About uh, 1,400 the monks uh, uh, residing and practicing Buddhism in Buddhist monasteries. The uh, Mongolian Buddhism is like the Mahayana Buddhism. It's the uh, same as the, the Tibetan Buddhism. There is some of the Buddhist uh, schools like 
Nima was school, in Garjuba school, Saja school, in Gilukuba school of Tibetan Buddhism. But uh, Mongolian Buddhism is uh, significant uh, from the Tibetan Buddhism because uh, Mongolian Buddhism adopted the nomadic culture in the some uh, Mongolian lifestyle practices. That's why the Mongolian Buddhism is different from the Tibetan Buddhism. The first of all, the Buddhism encourage its uh, believers the, to liberate themselves from the suffering. The main, uh, the object of the Dharma is the object of knowledge, path, nirvana and enlightenment, object of the mind, fortune, virtues, they improve the lifespan and uh, study and teaching that which arises object and element, uh, certainty, religious tradition. Those all the uh, objects encourage, motivate Mongolian Buddhists to, to do the social work in uh, humanitarian work uh, for their society. The, this slide shows the dharmas, uh, lots of the meaning, like it's the knowledge. Knowledge uh, gives people the power to live a healthy, uh, happy life. Also, the part of enlightenment, part of righteous way, part of the moral way is very important in Buddhism. Also, nirvana, enlightenment, encourage the Buddhists to do the release from suffering. They get enlightenment. The, also, uh, for Buddhism, the sacred mind, holy mind, is pure mind is very essential. That's why the uh, Buddhist Dharma encourage their followers to uh, release the delusions from their mind. Uh, another thing. The, the accumulate the virtues. If the Buddhists accumulate virtues, their life is fine, their friends' life uh, span will be increased. Those all concepts they encourage Mongolian Buddhists to do uh, the social work, humanitarian work, and charity work in their society. The Dharma concepts also include the four noble truths. The four noble truths starts with the suffering. The main object of the Buddhists like they release suffering from all sentient beings and uh, guide their also sentient beings eightfold and right paths, noble paths. Also, one main uh, the uh, object of the Buddhist concepts is the karuna, as in uh, the compassion, the love, also the good karma, good deed is encouraging Buddhists to do charity work, humanitarian work in their society. Also, 10 perfection, selfless action, 12 interdependent origination. All those Buddhist concepts uh, encourage the Buddhists to do uh, humanitarian charity and social work in their society. Also, those concepts mentioned in the um, uh, Mongol Buddhist texts like Kanjur. Uh, Kanjur texts uh, translated into Mongolian in about the 17th century. This text include all the Buddhist teachings and doctrine. Also the, uh, the explanation of the Buddhist sutras we call the Danjur. This uh, uh, Buddhist text translated into Mongolian 18th uh, century. All those concepts, uh, all those sutras and uh, Buddhist texts encourage Buddhists to practice Buddhism, to follow their uh, Buddhist teaching and uh, to do the charity work, to do social work and humanitarian work in their society. Also some essential texts now very uh, important for the Buddhists. Those uh, concepts and concepts of those uh, texts encourage the lay Buddhists and Buddhist monks to do uh, uh, social works. During the pandemic period in Mongolia, the Buddhist centers very active uh, to 
engaged in social works, you know, humanitarian charity works. The, behind these activities and practice, all those uh, texts encourage the Buddhist uh, people to do uh, social works. For example, the main concept of this text is like to generate compassionate mind for the, those who are suffering from illness, to dedicate our action to relieving illness and sentient beings, like to understand nature symptoms of illness, keep proper diet, follow healthy lifestyle, use proper medica uh, medication, to follow Bodhisattva Jalavakana's dedication action role of um, Buddhist during the pandemic, uh, period. So, uh, those texts uh, encourage, motivate the uh, Buddhists to uh, dedicate themselves for their society. Uh, also, this te uh, text uh, we call the Vajrachitika Prashna Paramita Sutra. It's very essential text for the Buddhist monastery and Buddhist uh, centuries. This text concept also encourage, motivate Malay Buddhists to do social work, engage in the social works, like encourage people to gain self-strength, run their business critical condition, analyze strength, weakness, opportunity, threat of their business, and change uh, difficulties into opportunity. Also, this text encourage uh, the suffering, difficulty, problems, uh, change into the opportunity, happy lifestyle, all uh, uh, such as. Uh, another uh, text is Bodhicharya uh, Avatarya, uh, composed by the Shantideva Bandita. This uh, text is very essential for also Buddhists. Uh, this text encourages the Buddhists to do social work, self, uh, selfless motivation for their society. That's why this text encourages people to generate bodhicitta, compassion, love, the other sentient beings, not only human beings, all the uh, sentient beings. They abstain from bad habits, behavior, practices. The golden awareness of their own actions, speech, thoughts, accumulate virtuous deeds, vision, happiness for others. The practice uh, 10 perfection. One of the uh, 10 perfection is the giving, also teaching right way to the people. That's why the Mongolian Buddhists uh, dedicate their selfless action uh, for in engaging in a social work in Mongolia. That's all for my presentation. Uh, the Buddhist, Buddhism in Mongolia, Buddhist uh, teachings encourage uh, lay people and monks how to uh, engage in Buddhist social work, charity work, community work in Mongolia. Thank you for your attention. No sound coming? Th thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. You're and uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, the auditorium if anyone has any question or comments. Oh, we received a message from Professor Matsu. Oh, thank you very much yeah. for your presentation. Oh, thank no you. No colleagues, Thailand, Vietnam, and Sri Lanka, etc. There are only nine participants here in the not webinar. Today, not, not today. Uh, I hope uh, this this uh, this uh, webinar will be uh, or is uh, will be uploaded uh, as a video. So I hope uh, in in future. Uh, we received more comments and questions from our colleagues from Thailand, Sri Lanka, and other countries. However, I, I, I got one question about uh, the nomadic culture. You, you mentioned that uh, uh, Buddhism in Mongolia is essentially uh, very close to Tibetan Buddhism, however, uh, has adopted uh, nomadic culture. So my question is about uh, some... Sound? Some some yes, current. Um, you talk. We we can hear you. Can can you hear me? Don't have twenty. No sound. Mm -hmm. No sound. No sound. Okay, okay. Just uh, maybe we can we can uh, leave uh, questions and, and comments uh, to the end to check if everything is okay. Mm. 
nature, nature of the nomadic, uh, the nomad, nomads are very close to the nature. That's why Mongolian Buddhism respect the nature, they worship mountain, river, uh, other aspects of the nature. That's why the different from uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Also, Mongolian Buddhists adapt the livestock, uh, the protecting livestock uh, of nomads, like they worship, they also practice increase of the livestock, like they have special practice uh, for, we call the tzitr, the increased life span, span in the amount of the life stocks of the nomads. The Buddhist monks practice special ritual for the nomads like that. That's why they are uh, different from the, the Tibetan Buddhism. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it's very clear how uh, the nomadic culture is, uh, has, has been reflected in, in, in Buddhism in, in Mongolia. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I would like to switch to the next presentation. Uh, Please uh, welcome uh, Professor uh, Oyot Erdene from uh, Mongolian uh, National University of Education. Please welcome. Hello. Um, Hello. First of all, uh, thank you very much for organizing a uh, webinar on Buddhist social work. Um, special thanks to Asian Research Institute for International Social Work, Shukotoku University, which coordinated the study on Buddhist social work in Asia. So uh, my presentation is uh, uh, about, uh, consists of two parts, and uh, it is uh, to present to talk about growth of the Buddhist social work activities in Mongolia. Uh, the study was done by uh, uh, Mongolian National University of Education team. And I would like to present on behalf of uh, Mongolian National University of Education team, uh, uh, which consists of four researchers, Dr. Jarmas Vahang, Dr. Tsinsuran, Dr. Bergma, and me. Um, so I would like to present about the book, uh, uh, which was published thanks to the project, uh, and also about the effects, um, impact of uh, a Buddhist social work project on collaboration and uh, curriculum development, and also research network in Mongolia as well as international. So as you see from the presentations, uh, Mongolian uh, research on Buddhist social work uh, is published in book, uh, named Growth of the Buddhist Social Work Activities in Mongolia, which was edited by Professor Joseph Kohore and Professor Hirak Gawa, and it was published in 2018 in Mongolian and uh, English and Japanese languages. Um, I would like to focus on, uh, firstly, on the book, uh, information on the book. So this uh, book on exploring, this book is a uh, number one research series on exploring, exploring Buddhist social work research series coordinated by Asian Research Institute for International Social Work and Shukutoku University. And, and this book uh, is, talks about uh, characteristics of Buddhist social work in Mongolia. And this uh, uh, book was um, produced uh, by the efforts of many counterparts uh, from Mongolian part, uh, National University of Mongolia, Mongolian National University of Education, and the Institute of Philosophy, Mongolian Academy of Sciences. These three institutions uh, collaborated in the Buddhist social work uh, research network. Uh, the book, outline of the Mongolian book, uh, uh, has three chapters. So uh, chapter one talks about uh, social work 
and Buddhism in Mongolia. And as previous presenter uh, Dembrel talked about uh, specifics of uh, Mongolian Buddhism in Mongolia, this book also gives a background on Buddhism in Mongolia and also social work uh, development in Mongolia. So chapter one was written mainly by um, researchers National, from National University of Mongolia, and it consists of background information on uh, about Mongolia, uh, its uh, social, economic um, developments, uh, and the Buddhist developments, and uh, uh, about social welfare system in Mongolia, which was written by Dr. Tumenas, uh, about social work development and social work education in Mongolia, which was written by Professor uh, Patishek. And Dr. Bulgang wrote about historical roots of Mongolian Buddhist social work. So uh, on chapter one, uh, more uh, talks will be presented by Dr. Patishek after me. Uh, this presentation is gives some more information on chapter two, which is um, uh, which uh, illustrates findings of uh, empiric study uh, on the actual state of Buddhist social work in Mongolia. Uh, chapter two was uh, written by researchers, Mongolian National University of Education. And this is uh, information on about the uh, Buddhist social work specifics, uh, how Buddhist social works are operated in Buddhist temples and, and by monks and by Lenin people, and uh, how Buddhist social work is um, uh, similar or different from West Western rooted social work in Mongolia. Uh, in chapter three, uh, it's, it talks about Buddhist social work of Mongolian Buddhist non-governmental organizations. And chapter three was written by researcher from uh, Department of Religious Studies, Institute of Philosophy, Mongolian Academy of Sciences, Dr. Altabater. Um, in chapter three, it, is, it talks more about um, uh, humanitarian and social activities, social work activities uh, conducted by Buddhist NGOs. So about the actual state of Buddhist social work in Mongolia. Um, so this is the second chapter of the book and it is, uh, uh, it, uh, it, is, it talks about, um, it demonstrates about findings uh, from the empiric study uh, on Buddhist social work. The study covered uh, six provinces, uh, four regions of Mongolia. Actually, Mongolia is a white uh, country which consists of four regions, uh, Western, Central, Eastern, and Hanga regions. And the uh, 21 temples representing four regions of Mongolia was uh, included uh, in the research. And uh, uh, in the research, in Buddhist social work study, uh, we used the qualitative research methods and collected uh, 42 cases of uh, humanitarian and social work conducted by Buddhist monasteries. And also we conducted in-depth interview with individuals and uh, Fox group uh, discussion was also conducted. And we've, uh, and from the study, we found out that Buddhist social work reaches uh, many um, people in communities and the main beneficiaries of Buddhist social work are uh, elderly, poor people, jail inmates, homeless, orphans, sick people, children in Duke, and trauma victims. So as you see, uh, uh, main beneficiaries of Buddhist social work are uh, vulnerable, mainly vulnerable population uh, in the communities. Uh, one of the findings, main findings of the research, Buddhist social work research is, uh, 
about uh, defining about social role of Buddhist temples and monks. So research uh, confirmed that the Buddhist temples, centers, and monks contribute greatly to the social development of the country, and they have a many social role uh, playing uh, for the benefit of the communities and people. So Buddhist temples and centers and monks continue to play an important role in fostering moral norms and good conduct, so such as generosity, hospitab hospitability, hospitability, and tolerance, etc. Uh, Buddhist temples and cent centers and monks help to preserve cultural heritage uh, and also contribute to preserve the nature. Many uh, activities conduct to uh, clean uh, and to plant tree, these kinds of activities. Uh, and with these temples, centers, and monks play an important role in, in human and families, psychological and social well being. Um, as you see from the presentation, that um, uh, based on a Buddhist teaching, Buddhist monks reach out to vulnerable people in times of uh, difficulties and provide psychological and um, uh, other types of support, which contributes their uh, social well-being. Uh, Buddhist temples and centers and monks play an important role in spiritual development of people. Many temples and monks are involved in contact various kinds of uh, uh, training and discussions on Buddhist teaching and what's good, what's bad, and the uh, goodness and badness of uh, various uh, conducts. So uh, spiritual development of people are enhanced with the uh, uh, support of monks and temples. And with these temples and centers, monks are uh, one of the uh, social service settings where social work services are provided. So from the picture, you can see examples of uh, uh, activities. Uh, and this uh, small, um, in Mongolian language, uh, this is a certificate from the children's organization giving uh, to monastery, Urjin uh, Shetevle, for their help to uh, uh, help children and uh, uh, for their close collaboration. Uh, okay, research has found uh, about inf more information on what is Buddhist social work in Mongolia. So uh, previously, uh, it was original research and previously there was uh, not uh, uh, information, no information on uh, what Buddhist temples and monks do in terms of humanitarian work and various kinds of work. And uh, we found, the research found out that it's uh, Buddhist social work is a health and profession. It involves meritorious actions based on and guided by Buddhist teaching. Uh, Buddhist social work assists in solving personal problems. It uh, intervenes in crisis. Uh, and also Buddhist social work is uh, about educating community, communities about goodness and rightness. And uh, uh, monasteries and monks provide Buddhist social work uh, by providing protection and rehabilitation, and uh, uh, all works are toward human, contributing human being and social well-being. Uh, I would like to um, illustrate by the one example uh, what uh, Buddhist monks and uh, temples do uh, by case. Okay, a person, uh, a person named O is uh, 40 year, uh, years old. disabled single mother uh, and uh, when her husband died, uh, her life has drastically worsened and she feeds three persons in the family with the welfare benefit and 2,000 tokens of child money. Now it's 100 tokens and given by the government. Her mother, older son is 14 years old and the younger son is 
uh, three years old because they didn't have a home. They used to rent it there, but they could no longer pay the rents. Taking their situation into consideration, the Darich Tara Monastery, located in Uptal Satin, some of two Anna, brought a girl for her family with donation of believers and money from the account of monastery. Now the mother and her two children have their own girl and live happily. So this case illustrates that uh, Buddhist social work contributed uh, uh, well-being by providing material support to single mother investment to the children and providing opportunity to live together. So uh, the research also found the similar, uh, identified similarities in of a Western Buddhist social work and uh, Buddhist social work. So uh, similarities include uh, the value is a similar, uh, value-based, both value-based and these values, equity, justice, fairness, importance of good, uh, uh, and also uh, background um, uh, base, uh, root of the professional action. And uh, these both uh, social work are contextually determined. Um, uh, clients are similar individuals, but the social work also serves individual families and communities. Uh, intervention types uh, ranges from micro uh, counseling to macro uh, teaching and uh, awareness raising activities. So uh, as a result of the study, for wider society, we found out that, that there is a need to educate general public about the social contributions of the Buddhist temples and centers and monks, because uh, um, general public is more aware of what Christian uh, temples do, but they don't, uh, most people are not aware of Buddhist temples. So thanks to the study, we uh, uh, acknowledge it and recognized and confirmed about this social contribution of Buddhist temples and centers and monks. So we found out that Buddhist social work and professional social work coexist. Uh, and Buddhist social work provides functionally alternative social work services to, uh, but it is limited in scope. Usually it is concentrated on a community based uh, area. Uh, and there is a wide opportunity to lie, uh, foster partnership with Buddhist temples uh, to serve for the uh, to, for clients. So the, my second part of the our second part of the presentation is to, uh, about uh, how this Buddhist social work study uh, impacted the, the in terms of collaboration research and the curriculum development area. So. Uh, uh, with the social work study uh, provided uh, opportunity for enhancement of social pro work program. We uh, established and uh, signed a memorandum of understanding between um, um, Asian Research Institute for International Social Work, Shukotoko University, and the School of Educational Studies, Mongolian National University of Education. So um, there are changes in terms of curriculum, in terms of uh, conference participation in, in, in collaboration in conferences uh, in the journals, and the uh, research study was conducted involving more areas. Uh, so uh, in 2000, uh, same, from 2017 and 2021, uh, we have been participating in workshops, uh, in academic conferences, um, and uh, and also there were published uh, a, a journal, academic journals, and uh, uh, and the researchers continue to work on the social work um, studies. Uh, in terms of uh, changes in uh, course curriculum, so in the Mongolian National University of Education, uh, we change uh, we um, made the changes in terms of uh, content and uh, uh, readings and uh, um, assignments. So, for example, in child protection course, in social work history and philosophy course, social security course, and also social social work elective courses. Uh, and uh, in terms of research. Um, it is more for, goes uh, deeply um, 
in areas like uh, social work with the elderly, social work with children in families, social work with uh, people with disability and, uh, and COVID-19 and also uh, social work services. Uh, these kinds of studies are done. done and uh, um, one big um, study was done uh, um, uh, involving children in monasteries, uh, children monks, uh, in terms of child protection uh, uh, study. So um, thanks to the uh, Buddhist social work project involvement, uh, the, not only curriculum enrichment was uh, uh, happened, uh, also the course written and the assignments and the student group tasks were um, developed and the dissemination through social work theory and practice journal published by the social work uh, department, Mongolian National University of Education, and more cases uh, con um, collected uh, involving practice social workers. Okay, thank you very much. This uh, was a presentation by the Mongolian National University of Education team. Thank you for your collaboration. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, as uh, on behalf of, uh, of our research institute, um, uh, I'm very happy uh, hearing that uh, this project uh, had a positive effect and impact uh, on your curriculum and on your academic activities. And uh, uh, I would like also, uh, I would like to say that uh, your book, uh, the book on uh, British social work in Mongolia was the, was the uh, first one uh, in, the, in the research series. So it's, it's an important uh, cornerstone for uh, the whole project. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for sharing. And I, I would like to encourage our, our colleagues. Uh, uh, we, we can, uh, we have many uh, participants from, from Mongolia. So uh, uh, no, not only questions, but also your additional comments and uh, additional information uh, are also are mostly welcome. To, to give us more uh, inputs and insights, more information about the uh, situation in Mongolia. So if you have any, any comments, please, please share it. Any comments? Stop sharing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you'd please, yeah, please stop, uh, stop, stop sharing. It's, it's on the bottom on your Zoom's, Zoom okay. screen. Okay, perfect, perfect, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, I got only one one small question about. Oh, Demerol. Oh, please go ahead. I have a question uh, about uh, Mongolian National University of Education team. The, how the Buddhist social work uh, uh, project they changed uh, the graduate level, uh, the ma master of the Buddhist social work, oh, uh, social master of social work in a PhD student of the social work. How impact the so social work, Buddhist social work project impact on uh, graduate uh, level students curriculum? Yes, uh, yes, I'm hearing. Um, um, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Sensurum uh, and Jerome Sehang and other colleagues. Uh, so uh, what I have included in the presentation, what we have included in the presentation was changes mainly in uh, baccalaureate social work education. Uh, and uh, in a master's level, um, there is a discussion on including um, uh, readings in some areas, but uh, uh, currently there is not yet uh, any changes in in the master's level of study. Yeah. 
Any additional comments from uh, Mongolian National University of, of Education? Any comments from, no, is it okay? So, um, so I would like to, I guess uh, we have only 20 minutes left. Uh, I would like to uh, move to the next step and uh, to the next presentation. So thank you very much again, Oyut. Uh, thank you very much for a very nice presentation. Thank you. And uh, I would like to ask uh, Professor uh, Batish Adilbish from uh, National University of Mongolia to deliver uh, the third presentation. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, um, so I'm going to present this. Uh, uh, this has continued of the previous presentations. And so there was uh, two parts, uh, two um, uh, articles like uh, uh, included in the chapter one. First one is uh, social welfare system in Mongolia. Uh, second one is uh, development of social work in Mongolia, which is mostly focused on the social work education in Mongolia. Uh, this is the joint presentation of um, the, the Dr. Tumanast and me. So we are from the Department of Sociology and Social Work and National University in Mongolia. So uh, let me introduce first about the uh, child uh, social welfare system in Mongolia, which is the part two of this um, um, series book. So in this chapter, we, the Dr. Tumunast uh, uh, wrote about the social welfare system before transition, which is before 1990, or the welfare system, development of welfare system after, 19, after 1920, 1990. So the, before the uh, pre-presentation, which is uh, uh, before 1919, the welfare system was uh, uh, in Mongolia was consisted of the three parts. First one is uh, uh, based on um, the social insurance uh, for employees and civil servants. Uh, second part is the social care of the agricultural cooperatives and members. And the, uh, uh, the third group was a social care for certain groups. As you see, the, uh, before 1990, Mongolia was the uh, system was the different. It was like a Soviet Union and socialist system. So the all of, uh, social oriented uh, society, most of the uh, the, uh, the first issue was kind of a universal. So that's why the welfare system was very different from the uh, current system. So, but the at uh, 1990, uh, during the 1990, when this um, uh, social system collapsed, uh, the uh, welfare system, as uh, the uh, previous system was broken, uh, could not function as it did, it was the previous in the previous system. That's why the in 1992, the uh, <coughs> when the Democratic Mongolia approved the new constitution law. This is uh, the area of the welfare system, uh, direction of the welfare system has been changed. So the legal environment on social welfare system was newly developed, but uh, based on the uh, uh, laws, uh, the, the new laws like uh, uh, suits to the democratic system. So uh, then the final, the uh, the uh, base foundation of the current social welfare system was uh, uh, introduced in the welfare, social welfare law in 1995. So by the time of uh, uh, their book written, which is uh, 2019, the system, administrative structure of the welfare system was Mongolia this way. As you see here, the government and parliament so the uh, name of the minister was uh, Minister of Labor and Social Welfare, but now this name of the minister has been changed to Minister of Labor and Social Protection. So then three main government authorities are uh, functioning under the Minister of uh, Labor and Social uh, Welfare, uh, Social uh, Authority, General Authority on Social Insurance, and General Authority of, on uh, Child Labor and Social Assistance, and general authority of family, youth, and children. 
So each this, um, they are all of them, the government development agencies, they are all have their own the, um, departments, now each um, the, uh, the province and district levels. And in each of this, um, the sectors, free sectors, the work, the social workers. So according to the welfare system in law, the social welfare, there are several types of the uh, welfare assistance uh, components uh, here, the social welfare pension, social, social welfare benefits, social welfare services, allowances for the elderly people, the allowances for disabled people, benefits for the national minority uh, groups and uh, stamps for the food stamp program and children and child and maternity benefits. All these are the benefits uh, <coughs> managed by the law on uh, social welfare. He has uh, uh, <coughs> social workers work in the different the sectors, not only the social welfare. He has a uh, community, let me start from this community hospital, uh, the social workers work in community hospital it, and also the court and correction centers uh, at the jail, you know, uh, yeah, the jail uh, and <coughs> correction centers and then also schools and the government and office and uh, at horror in some levels, horror in some levels at the um, uh, smallest uh, horror and smallest administrative unit in Ulaanbaatar and uh, some is divided into bag, bag is the smallest administrative unit in the provinces. So basically the social workers uh, work in this uh, six or seven fields. So this is actually, I just briefly introduced what was written in the chapter, uh, in the part two in chapter one uh, on the uh, topic of the social welfare system in Mongolia. Now let me move to the, uh, the part three, which is focused on the development of social work, particularly in the development of social work education in Mongolia. So as I mentioned previously, the, during the 1990, uh, the system has been changed and then the need for university-based social work training was confirmed by the situation analysis done by the Center for Social Development and Save the Children. So it was happened in 1995 and 1996. And then the three influential milestones in the establishment of education, social work education in Mongolia was happened. So first one is national workshop on social work that was conducted in 1996. Then first international social work conference was conducted 1997. And then first social work center was established at the state Pitagogo University uh, in 1997, which is uh, now named the uh, National Univers University of Education. The first graduate students, social students, the program was commenced in 1997 in the State Pitagogo University, later it's named the State National State University, National it's State University, National University. It's called uh, now the State National University of Education. In Polytechnic University, it's now called National University of Science and Technology. So, <laughs> in by the time uh, 2020, 20, uh, 2010, uh, they went 14 universities, uh, the social departments offered the graduate, undergrad, undergraduate, and graduate uh, uh, program of social work. And um, uh, actually, the uh, most of the social work lecturers were trained in US, in UK, in Europe, in Japan, Korea, and Australia. Yes, it's uh, both international social work scholars have been to develop the, and apply the Western rooted and traditional and modern social work theory and practice into development of uh, uh, national, uh, in, the, in development of social work program. So then social work lecturers try to apply the Western theories into development of national standard and curriculum social work practice. So Mongolia's first social work education standard uh, was uh, also uh, um, borrowed the, uh, the content from the American social work and the Western social work models, but uh, included uh, uh, some components of the with the national aspects. Um, into the standard. 
basically the primers of the social work course, uh, which have been influenced by strongly by concepts of Western social work, I uh, was enabled to social work course to work for uh, and work with individuals and groups and families and communities. So that was written in the, uh, the chapter there's a book written in uh, 2019, just Oyut was introduced. And then I would like to introduce what happened after the 2019. So um, in uh, the, right after the book uh, uh, published, uh, we had the International Conference on Development of Asian Buddhist Social Work Activities. Uh, conference was conducted in Mongolia in Ulaanbaatar. So we, we had um, our, our, over the 40 participants from the uh, five, six countries, uh, including the Japan and the, uh, Russia, China and uh, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, so Mongolia. So this was the main organizer of the conference was uh, National University of Mongolia, the Department of uh, uh, Philosophy and so, uh, Religious Studies and Department of Social Work and Social Studies. But we had a collaborate, we collaborated this, um, out the collaborators was uh, Asian Research Institute for Social Work, International Social Work in Shukutoku University in National, Mongol National University of Education in the Mongolian Academy of Science and um, Science Institute of Philosophy. So actually this workshop was uh, uh, quite uh, interesting as uh, they encouraged a lot of the uh, the uh, different groups of people, particularly as you see here, a lot of monks and from the uh, temples, Mongol and Buddhist temples, and also the angels who are doing the Buddhist uh, the, um, humanitarian activities, uh, Buddhist angels. After then, uh, the social work, uh, uh, the representatives, uh, the lecturers from the National University of Mongolia and the uh, National University, Mongol National University of Education, uh, so participated in their conference, uh, Journey of Buddhist Social Work, uh, exploring the potential of Buddhism in Asian uh, social work. So here you see this out there. A list of the participants of this uh, international conference. In addition to, I didn't include here, so there was conference in uh, Sri Lanka, the uh, three the delegates from the Mongolia also participated uh, in the Buddhist social conference. Uh, so then also we had international conference on integration of diversity in uh, cultural sensitivity of the practice in social work. Uh, the conference was conducted in 19 to, 2019, uh, we had um, uh, also the um, uh, scholars from the America and Russia and China uh, and what else, other countries. So it was also uh, included the Western perspective uh, in the uh, Asian perspective, but the Western perspective wasn't like uh, really, the, uh, it was like, a, for example, presentation included about the shamanism in Mongolia, uh, their, the, the, which were introduced by the American scholar in also some uh, uh, Christian perspective, or the, actually the, this conference uh, introduced a different perspective of the religion, which can be introduced uh, in social work. So then I just would like to introduce a very recent uh, conference uh, Buddhist social work session, uh, which was, uh, uh, um, was uh, part of the Open Mind Mongolia 2021 uh, the conference, uh, supporting the social well-being during the after and during and after COVID-19. So the one session was uh, like a session on Buddhist social work. So we had uh, uh, 12 the presenters uh, from five, six countries introduced about this uh, Buddhist social perspectives in the works they have done in during the and after COVID-19. So you can see here there are about 25 participants and the, from the 10 countries and also the people, uh, lecturers from the uh, National University of Mongolia at the on-site. 
So what now we are moving is uh, moving forward. Also, we had the memorandum understanding between the National University of Mongolia in Asian Research Institute of Social, International School of Social Work in Shukotoki in Mongolian State National University of Education and the Asian Research Institute of International Social Work Shukotoki University. That we had memorandum uh, memorandums updated in these two times. And also we had the developed, um, development of in, uh, initial social work undergraduate course, culture and social work in the process in the National University of Mongolia. And uh, after the conference in two departments in an, an, our the university, Department of Sociology and Social Work and Dep Department of Philosophy and uh, Religious Studies are uh, collaborating there closely in talking um, about the to develop the undergraduate level of the program. We had also the, our collaboration as a, became very close uh, from developing the curriculum as organizing different national aid activities. So as the social work lecturer from the National University of Mongolia was selected and became visiting researcher of the fellowship program at the Shukutoko University, so which is also the, uh, another achievement uh, that happened after <coughs> the, uh, the book published. So here the social work lecturers and practitioners have done joint researchers in on implication of Buddhist beliefs and practices, working with different groups, uh, the, uh, people with different ages and background, and sharing paintings of national and international conferences. And also the social work lecturers from the NUM and the, uh, I, I'm sorry, I just, uh, <laughs> in not state, it's nas national, the Mongolian National University of Education collaborate with the Asian Research Institute of International Social Work with other countries in developing the joint projects and publication. Now we are also um, collaborating to uh, start, start a journal of uh, this social work, be contributing to the development of these uh, initiatives. And also the Mongolian social work lecturers expand the, expand the networks, uh, collaborations with international scholars who do Buddhist social work, who do study in Buddhist social work. So Department of Sociology and Social Work, uh, National University of Mongolia became the member of APASWE, and also Mongolian Association of Social Work Educators, Educators became the member of the International Association of School Social Work, school, Schools of Social Workers. So, so we are very positive and optimistic uh, about the, for our the future collaboration. If there is any, I'm, I'm done, so if there is any questions, please uh, ask. Yeah. Uh, Adil Bish, thank you very much for, for your presentation, for overviewing uh, and reviewing uh, the social welfare system in Mongolia and, and uh, also uh, reviewing uh, all the positive impacts uh, the research project uh, had on, on your activities, on educational activities, practitioner activity, practice activities, and also um, in academic activities. It, um, yeah. yeah, thank you very much again. And uh, actually, we got uh, only two minutes left. Uh, we almost uh, mm -hmm. run out of our time. However, I would like to encourage uh, our colleagues from Mongolia to, to switch uh, their camera and microphones on and to share uh, their comments or, or questions, if they have any. Thank, thank you very much for attending. Uh, Today's, uh, today's webinar. And uh, as, as previously mentioned, uh, this, uh, this uh, webinar has been recorded. So uh, we, will, uh, we will edit it and upload uh, to be, I mean, uh, uh, available for anyone interested uh, in, in this topic. So I hope uh, in, in a in the near future, your, your presentations and this webinar will be uh, broadly shared and available for, for anyone. So, uh, thank you for organizing such wonderful webinar, uh, Kahori. I'd like to uh, express my special gratitude to the Shukotoku University Asian Social Work Institute. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Can, thank you very much. May I uh, ask? Joseph, of course. Uh, can we course. take a picture together? All that, that, 
Of course, of course. All people can picture it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, can you, yeah, can you give your camera? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Adi Vizha oh. Thank you. <laughs> Anna Matsuo. Oh. You're welcome. And so, so, thank you um, to all, I mean, we got also colleagues from from uh, from India and also uh, Mr. Ravi Chandra, th thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> welcome, sir. Great, great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, uh, thank you very, very much again. And well, uh, I hope, I hope uh, we will be able to meet personally in the near future. Uh, we, I think, we all are very uh, thankful uh, having this Zoom to to meet at least virtually. However, uh, I, I would be happy to, to meet you in Mongolia or to invite you here in, in Japan to, uh, to interact and to uh, work uh, together uh, on, on, on the Buddha Social Work Project. So thank you very much again and have a nice uh, rest of the day. And thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You very thank much. you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. Kana, I would like to write your thank question. You. Answer <laughs> thank you. Answer your question later. Hey, Kana, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs>